How's it going everybody? Landon here with the Truck Boss Show. Pumped about this edition we call the What's Up Edition. As always, next to my dear friend Isela. Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you very much for always tuning in with us. Absolutely. Hey, and wherever you're watching this from, let us know if it's down in Dallas, if it's up in New York, over in California. Isela, we always have people from around the nation watching this. We do. As a matter of fact, people from Arizona. Big shout out to you guys, people of Texas, and for the people that are in Missouri that joined us at this last event that we were at. I know. Big I miss. I miss G-Bats already. Oh, that yeah. That was pretty I'm awesome. I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> exactly. And so we've got a cool announcement coming to you at the end of the show, so stick around. But we want to talk about what's up in the news throughout the trucking industry. We're going to bring to you two stories that we picked out that one is one made us upset and the yes. other one that really caught our attention with just incredible generosity from truck drivers all over the world. Yeah, I think that second story is really touching. So yeah, you want to we definitely might want to get tuned. some tissue for, for I may I may get emotional, but that's OK. <laughs> you may as well. But before we get into these stories, we just want to say thank you to all of our followers. We've crossed 10,000 followers. We have 14,000 yes. people that tune in every single week. What's oh, up, hi, Eugene? Eugene? What's going on? How's Thanks going? for watching. Hey, definitely uh, let us know where you're watching this from because we definitely want you to be That's part of the right. conversation. Like, comment, share. And not and only so that, forth. guys, because of your, you know, you tuning in, you commenting, you sharing, you tagging, you guys had made this possible for us. So a big thank you and a big shout out to you guys. That's right. Every week we have over 2,400 hours consumed of the Truck Boss Show by you guys and we just can't thank you enough so thank you so much and let's get on with this awesome right, truck boss show so what's the first story well the first story is this, this is really it's bothering so a dog it's runs bothering. desperately i like that phrase it's bothering <laughs> this is about a dog who runs desperately to keep after his truck driver owner who forgets to untie him from his tow bar at a gas station did you guys see this if you haven't this video has gone the, viral it has gone viral you'll be screaming at your screen as you're you're you know relaxing tonight yes. After the show, go down on our fan page. We actually posted this uh, in one of our posts uh, earlier just, in this just, week, so just it's just a couple week. down. So click on that, watch the video after the show, um, and let us know what you think. But for me, personally, I don't get how you can fuel up, park a little bit, tie up the, tr the dog. Let's just walk through this cycle here. And then after you're done in the fuel station, come back, maybe, you know, getting some right. food, whatever it may be. And then come back on the driver's side as the dog's chilling. Forget that he's there. Like, how do you not see your dog? And on the video, you see the dog almost being drugged. What's dragged. the word? Dragged. Drugged. <laughs> not drugged. You know what he's talking about. Not pharmaceuticals here. <laughs> but dragged. <laughs> Our producer's laughing at me. Sorry. But, hey, this is live. Having some fun. <laughs> but thankfully, somebody actually caught his attention yes, and saved the dog's life. Yes, there's actually a um, Arizona County Sheriff's um, office he, officer. I'm sorry, volunteered uh, to save the dog's life. Now he notices this going on, and he's just like, "Whoa, wait a minute! What does he do? He distracts that driver. He tra he was trying to distract him, mm -hmm. but he wound up turning on his lights, pulling him over, and saving <laughs> the dog's life. This is huge because he was about to get on the interstate, which is crazy. So, but my question is on safety. Um, I don't obviously I don't drive a big truck, but would you not be if the dog is on the driver's side? He, are you not trying to pay attention to what's on this side? I don't seen the mirror. know. I just don't so, see how you, you know, did it. Look, respect to the driver, maybe it was just, obviously it was an accident. But um, one thing that just really caught my attention is that when, after he got pulled over, he's just casually walking by and, or back to the end, back of the truck and to untie the, the dog. I'd be running back there checking on my dog. I think so I'm a big too. dog Hugging lover. I don't dog, know about you guys. If you love dogs, comment. Yeah. But um, it, it's one of those videos you got to watch. You'll see why it went viral. It's very disturbing. So what's know. the next story? You so the next one, this is the one that um, it's a really enjoyable story. It's very sweet. This one's a birthday bash for Bubba. I've seen a part of the video. I didn't get to see the whole thing, mm -hmm. but I know it is a sweet video. You know, it's one of those things um, in the news today. There's a lot of negativity. A ton of negativity. It doesn't matter what you're watching. Entertainment, That's politics, right. whatever it may be. In the trucking industry, it's easy to vent. It's easy to get mad. All those kind of things. This story is one of those positive stories it is. that's refreshing and awesome, and you've got to read it. And so a little bit about this. This is a story of a boy. His name is Bubba. Bubba. Right? And he's in Wisconsin with his family, this awesome family that has fostered over 82 children, adopted 10 of them, that's Bubba a lot. being one of them. Bubba's disabled, and he had troubles from birth. They got him at nine months old and took him home. Um, and every day he would sit in his wheelchair chair in the backyard, looking at the highway, waiting for a big rig to drive by and pump his, home, his arm so his the, arm. His, the big rig would honk the horn and wave back at Bubba. And he did it every day, he loved it. And there was a really cool turn that took things to there the next is, level. There is, there was a driver um, on July 14th, one day, the driver, he was with C.H. Hall trucking. Mm -hmm. and Shout um, out to that awesome carrier. Yes, he's, they're out of, it's uh, Stillman, Valley, uh, Stillman Valley out of Illinois. He would see Bubba all the time. So what he did is he went back, told his boss what was going on. Well, 
um, this driver having a sister with a disability himself, you know, it, it touched home. Mm -hmm. So he told the boss, got some goodies, some swag, and said, you know what, I'm going to take it to him. When he goes to take the stuff to yeah. Bubba, Bubba's not there. Right. But he threw it over the fence. And he said, you know what, he's going to catch it. When mm -hmm. his mom came out and saw the bag, it just really touched home. Mm -hmm. I mean, it made her feel good, and I'm pretty sure Bubba was really happy about right. it. And from then on, they started to, they started organizing. Well, it's crazy how it happened. So she oh, gets yeah. on social media, posts a big thank you, didn't know who it was. Thankfully, a, a trucking group in that area picked up on the story, posted in that group. They and found they, out who did it, and then they said, what more can we do for Bubba? That's right. Because his birthday was coming up. And long story short, I wish we can go into every bit of the oh detail, my God. but yes. some but of the, they organized. They organized an incredible birthday party for Bubba that he had no idea was coming. I and don't we'll, think his mom either. I don't no, think she was kept in the loop, idea. but didn't know how didn't, big it was going to be. Right, there was a DJ, all kinds of stuff. The, the community came together in it Wisconsin. Was awesome. Truckers from Canada, Australia, all over all the over nation the came together, 182 different trucks. And That's also the Make-A-Wish Foundation surprised Bubba with an awesome wish with he and his family. They went on to Disney, which is pretty cool. And Bubba was just overwhelmed. There were so many gifts, so many gifts so during many, the event. He couldn't open them. He couldn't open them, and he's still day. open them today. And gifts keep flooding in because of this awesome event. So if you are a part of that, let us know. We're going to actually post this story in the comment thread right after the show. You're going to love the read. It's one of those stories and something you may want to get involved with. No, that's right. I think that's awesome. Of course, you know, we've mentioned this before on, in previous shows. A lot of people have um, their opinion or their mind made up of truck drivers. They mm -hmm. are the worst. But we've come across some really amazing stories mm -hmm. where the uh, truck drivers are being spoken of in a very highly manner and you know what it's very well respected because oh. you guys do a lot even though you know if it wasn't for them for all our drivers mm -hmm. out there i mean we wouldn't have so much of what we have and i've said this before right. but it also lets us know that they have a heart they're human and they're not mean they're right. not these hateful people they're it's not like that their office is a lot more stressful than ours every yes, single day is. out on the road but we over the last two weeks have seen just an incredible outpouring of generosity they're in Joplin, over $190,000 raised yes. for Special Olympics, 6000 raised for, for the autism. autism. Now this incredible story. It's just amazing. So tell us a story. If you know of anything that people yeah, can be a part of, us. get in the comment thread. Let, you know, help us spread the word so other people can get involved in what you're excited and passionate about because that's what Truck Boss Show is all about. We want right. to see the positive side of trucking as well as some awesome education and entertainment. Oh, yeah. Let us know. We, we would love to hear. So those are the two great stories. We have an exciting event because tomorrow, where are we heading to, Isela? Well, you guys know Truck Boss is always ready to go where the fun's going to be, uh, and we love having fun. So we are going to be at yes, the we do. Lots National of fun. Hot Especially Rod. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be at the National Hot Rod Diesel Association tomorrow in Ennis, Texas. That's right. It's going to be an incredible time. That. Hot rods, big races. diesels, races, 200, 300 miles per hour. It's going to be intense. Sled pulls. Yeah. I know. I can't wait. It's going to so be fun. It's going to be a lot of in entertainment. We're going to bring you to live. If you're down there, find us. We're going to have some great swag. Yeah. And we're going to be doing something we've never done on the Truck Boss Show. We have some incredible giveaways in honor of almost 100 shows that we've done here at Truck Boss, which is pretty sweet. And over the incredible growth that we've seen when it comes to following the views and all the hours that are consumed with the show every single month. So... You're going to love it, and you're going to want to be a part of it. Yeah, so we hope that you guys don't miss out. And remember, that's going to be that's going to be taking place tomorrow and Saturday in Ennis, Texas. So we're super ex excited. <laughs> yeah, excited is definitely the right word. So as always, we appreciate you, and we can't wait to see you going into that awesome event there in Ennis, Texas. That's right. And don't forget, guys, we do this. Why? Because you're the boss. <laughs>